Oh no! Judy! <laughs> Judy! <laughs> Talentless bitch! Council Estate Wars. He's, uh, he was just a dude living, oh, I've got one grand. Living on a council estate. Yeah, he lived on a council estate and he got bitten by, I don't know, another hairy bastard. A bit more sound. So you can hear the hairy bastard, really. This is not full wolf, so it's not as doggish. Oh no, Judy, no. Oh, Judy, it's not very good. Oh, Judy, we needed it to be good. Quirky but good, see? All games, you've got a vendetta against me. Oh, one customer says I love the games that come with the Tez. So you should love Hairy Bastard Council Estate Wars. Oh, hi. Hi there, I've just finished Hairy Bastard Council Estate Wars and I'm impressed by your talent. Well, tell the reviewers that. Tell all games that. Oh, we can't afford to make a custom game engine. Oh, poor. Dystopian. Yeah, why not? I don't know what we're going to do with it, but okay. Dystopian. Mm, RPG. On. This has got to be something artsy, I think. So in the future, everyone will want it and it'll be sold out and it'll be like 500 thousand pounds for a copy or it'll have to be a classic we're gonna make what's going to become a classic in the future finish we need to get this out we've got 600 quid rubbery no no <laughs> no judy <laughs> judy what have you done what have you made judy Judy! Judy! <laughs> Talentless bitch! How could she have done that? Oh no! <laughs> oh shit! Oh Judy, we lost fans! We're losing fans every time people buy it! Well don't buy it then! Judy, why are you so stupid? Oh, oh. I have to do a simulation, it's going to have to be for the PC. Maybe not hospital though. Uh, detective strategy. It's time to go back. Fat lady. Mild crime spree. Dialogues. Oh no, no, we don't care about dialogues. Sod it. <laughs> oh, no, we'll have no dialogues. Come on, Judy, we need a hit. We're 28k in debt. 41k. We're gonna go bankrupt, Judy. And you never even left the basement. You never even got out of Richard's basement. Come on. Can we get out the red? Yeah, we've got 400 quid. Great. Well done, Judy. Detective and strategist. <laughs> ah! We can do casual game. Life! Life! Life simulation. Research this, we make a life simulation game and this is how we make the money back. Okay, so this is for everyone. It's gonna be about life. It's gonna be a simulation. And we're going back to the PC. We love the PC. So this is gonna be fat lady. This is, this is all fat lady. This is a fat lady's living in a mansion, whatever. Ow, oh, my stomach cramps. This is giving me stomach cramps, worrying about Judy. Oh, let's see what she did. Judy, 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 Judy! Bow, bow. 
Don't really an eight. Everyone else loves it. Yes, Fat Lady Mansion Simulator has achieved company sales record with over hundred k units sold. According to our market research, the recently published game Fat Lady Mansion Simulator is a surprise hit with get with players, gamers, with gamers. Yeah. <gasps> We've got a million. Let's knock a new game out because I've got an idea. Ninja Garden. Shrubbery. Oh. Ah. Uh. Shrubbery. <laughs> Shrubbery. <laughs> Ninja Garden, Combat, no! Judy! <laughs> Could have been better. Have you not seen the name? Beautiful, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Enjoyable. <laughs> no. I like being in my basement, but I'll move. Yes, this is nice. Okay, get get this off. Get this off the screen. No, I don't want any of this. Okay. Yeah, I can't read off of that. Get off. The company, which is known for games such as Fat Lady Mansion Simulator and Ninja Garden Combat Shrubbery. <laughs> Has reportedly operated out of a garage until now. Don't shame me. I've followed the progress of Chumble Grobs for a while, and it seems that with your recent expansion, you've started developing larger games. Okay, we're gonna do graphics, the linear story, save game mono sound. It's pricey, but hiccups, we'll do it. Okay, this is going to be called Jumble Cell 1. My Jumble Cell. We'll use Jumble Cell. It'll be a casual game. Sports casual. And it'll be called Tit Tennis. Titanic. Tit Tennis. Come on, tip tennis. Seven, fine, fine. Yeah, seven, fine, fine. Seven. <laughs> you again, all games. Oh, it's going to be oh, hunting simulation for the Tez using Jumble Sale for everyone it's going to be a medium game it's going to be a big one I could really make this really I can't be bothered <laughs> it's just going to be I'm getting tired it's just going to be that We go on vacation now. We're making a game, can't I just wait? God. Right. So if we go below two minus two hundred k, I'm gonna go bankrupt. Okay, fine. So fuck hunt has got to work. Pale. You've made a bug. You made a bug. There are no bugs, and then you made a bug. Release it. Level adds to an open world. Well, that's great, but we've got no money now. Hey, played it for days. Do we? What? How? Can't wait for the sequel. All right. Go 
going? Oh. Yeah, you couldn't give me a nine, could you? No, we've just done a simulation, so let's do a strategy. There we go, white fat hackers the game. There we go. Oh, 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 Yes, come on. Yes, they do work well on PC, all games. We're not stupid, we make games. The latest game by Chumble Grobs has received a very positive reviews overall. If Chumble Grobs continues to innovate like this, they might become a new fan favourite. Well, yeah, we should. I was doom. Hell Farm. Okay, we love graphics. I want open world. Because simulation, so. So we don't care too much about sound. Do an adventure game. Go on, go on. No! Oh, you should have given us a 10. Nice experience. No, it's an amazing experience. It's a farming game. Yeah, farming and simulation is a great combination. What's up with your form gamer? You obviously weren't form, that's a great combination. Research 3D graphics for me because we're going to need that for Jumble Cell 3. Uh, let's knock out an adventure game quickly. Pick topic. Uh, spy adventure for the Super Tez using Jumble Cell 2. Yes, I. Uh, Glasgow. Iron Brew. Murders. Alright, we need to knock this out quickly before adventure's not even a popular thing. CSI Glasgow. Iron Brew Murders. Murders. Nerd-durd-durd. <laughs> Nerd-durds. Mm. Mm. I'll say it like that. Da-da-da-da-da! Yeah! Da, 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 da. Come on, Judy! Come on, good ten, ten, ten. Yes! Ten across the board. Ten, ten, ten across the board. Oh, yeah, ten. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, for... That the initial sales for CSI Glasgow The Iron Brew Murders have fallen way below expected numbers. The game received outstanding reviews but it seems the chosen platform isn't very popular with the target audience. Well it will be in about 30 years. I've made gaming history with CSI Glasgow. That's my classic. That's my classic for the future. That's Earthbound. But it's about the Glaswegian police. Trying to solve someone being stabbed with the sharp end of an iron brew bottle. A construction strategy game. No, it's going to be another simulation, sod it. Build your own trap. That's for everyone. Everyone can play that. Everyone loves trap houses nah 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 let's do that let's try that trouble grabs come on come on everybody turn up turn up turn up turn up everybody say what everybody say what Chumble Grub, say what? Look at that, 45,000! 
Sequels! <gasps> oh. Come on! Yeah! Lee. That's it. Make it a nine. See that ten? You show me a ten. You keep flashing the ten. And then you flash me an eight. When I started playing Build Your Own Trap, I had no idea what I was in for. The art style in Build Your Own Trap blends so well with the general feeling of the game. A perfect match. Two, <laughs> two chumble grabs. Keep the hits coming, please, smiley face. Tom Mott! <laughs> okay, well, we need to knock another game out before we can upgrade the engine. So game out for young people because I think young people will enjoy casual sport oh, we've done a casual sports game though the license so it's going to cost us less V2 oh, I didn't call it a name I didn't give it a name I didn't give it a name no I didn't give it a name so I don't care Didn't give it a name, bollocks. Just game 15. No. Then I don't care. I don't care about this game at all. Because I didn't give it a name, so it doesn't matter to me. You put a bug in it at the end. I released it. You put a bug in it. That's your fault. You did that. Oh. Something wrong with you. Go on vacation. You've got big issues. I'm going to call this. This isn't going to be tit tennis because we can't do that again. Cheese rolling. 92. I mean, they don't have to be fantastic graphics to look at cheese. Okay. Well, we're not going to do too well with this one. It's just a... Okay, they love cheese rolling. What do I know? Oh, okay, all games. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Did we get more than last year? Oh, oh, we did, didn't we? We got 40 something last year. You know what, Judy? It's time for a sequel. Fat Lady Mansion Simulator. You know what, we're going back to the PC because we know it works. Fat Lady City Living! Yeah! Better. Yeah. Eight! Okay, well the other one made an average of nine, so... Hey! They love it! Chumble Grubs has recently released a sequel to their game Fat Lady Mansion Simulator. The newest game in the series, titled Fat Lady City Living, <laughs> was met with great responses. Critics praised that Fat Lady City Living had a newer engine than the original, really driving technical innovation. When I started playing Fat Lady City Living, I had no idea what I was in for. There's a rare technical polish in this game which really comes through in the overall experience. Summary, best game ever. Jason Green, Gaming World. They love my fat ladies. Okay, let's try a combat shrubbery. Seems to love a ninja. One, two. Daffodil, danger. Okay. Right, if I click finish, you're not gonna put more bugs in, are you? Uh oh. 
Uh oh. Okay, that wasn't a great sequel. Got word that Chumble Grabs has recently sponsored a highly praised move to get more women into technology roles. Judy Finnegan, CEO at Chumble Grabs, said, We would love to see more women in the game industry. Nice one, Judy. Harry. <laughs> Harry Bastard! Harry Bastard! better than this though really beautiful but it's a seven come on sequel to uh, elderly bed tetris this will be my magnum opus it's an ode to me it's for everyone, because everyone can enjoy the magic of crows. What do you think? You better like this, come on. Almost perfect. Seven? More please, well... <laughs> That's a bit mixed. Surgery. Simulation. Okay, this is for everyone. This is a quick one. I'm gonna knock this one out. Oh, seven. No. Judy, no. Oh, they work well. They're not. Oh. There we go. Why did I see a one flash? The newest game in the series titled Fat Lady Murder 2, Rumble Harder was met with moderate responses. Yeah, I don't... Mm. Government. Strategy. God, look at those numbers. What? Uh, well, they liked it. Oh, well, they liked it too. Wow. That was such a mix. This is just going to be called... Noughts and... Crosses. I don't expect this to be very good. Oh, I was right. Oh, no, Judy. Judy Finnegan, you bitch. Oh, wow. All games. What is your problem? Uh, new game. I oh, know, let's do a sequel actually. Sequel Cy Glasgow Iron Brew Murders. Wait, where's all our money? Um, okay. We're poor. Right, we need to develop a new. Oh, <laughs> I didn't realise we were so poor. No. Oh no. Oh no. We're in debt. Okay. PC, because it's all we can afford. Jumble Cell 2.5. Okay, this was a bad choice actually. Simulation might not have been good. Uh oh! See, oh no! It seems you have some serious financial difficulties. Oh, bollocks! 100 in a year's time. Yeah, sure, I'll take your money. It's not going to end too well. 
Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. Why? It was brilliant. You just don't think it's good because you're a twat. Let's go to interview a while ago. Judy Finnegan from Chumblebrobs made very bold remarks about the. Oh no, about the then in development game, the game Massive Mario Vicar, predicting that it would be uber successful. Now the game's out on the market, the consensus is that Judy Finnegan should be more careful as the product doesn't match the hyped expectations. Whatever. Oh! You don't know me. New game. Mature. Romance. RPG. Uh oh. This is a matter that require you to pay back the agreed amount of what? Oh, one and a half million in <laughs> three months. Oh. Well, bye everybody. It was wasn't that fun while it lasted. Masterpiece. The term dialogue tree really doesn't do Fupa fraternization justice. The game has a dialogue forest in a good way. <laughs> okay, it's time for a new ninja garden. Okay, graphics. <gasps> oh, I think I might be bankrupt. Judy. She's got to go back to Richard now. Judy Finnegan gave the video games industry probably the biggest laugh in history. I love those moments when something, you know, happens that isn't supposed to.